So we're here at the Arm booth, uh, checking out the HDR technology here. So hello, so who are you? Hi, I'm Judd Heap. Uh, I lead marketing for the IBG group inside of Arm. So uh, what are you doing uh, here with HDR? So what we're doing here is we're showing the ability to take HDR10 or hybrid log gamma content and properly map it and display it on a standard uh, dynamic range display. So this might be used in the case where you don't have a, a really bright uh, display panel, like a bright television, but you still wanted to enjoy HDR content on a standard uh, monitor or display. How do you display HDR? Do you need a special display number? Normally you need a, a display that's very, very bright and it's very, very good contrast ratio. But mobile devices and tablets and things like that, you know, don't have that because it would drain their battery power to be so bright. And so what we're showing here is the ability to take that same content, map it properly onto a regular display, so you don't lose any of the uh, any of the data. So uh, what's going? On? What is this for? Is this a? This is, is this, this this is a um, uh, an ARM, um, what we call a Juno board. It has an ARM Cortex processor. And then in here, on, these, on the stack here, we've got a stack of FPGAs. Uh, one of the FPGAs is doing a decode function for the video. The other FPGA is implementing the core that we have called a sort of display, which is one of the products from Apical that was acquired by ARM. So, uh, so what do you do with Apical? Uh, so at Apical, uh, I ran their, their field support team and previously was their uh, engineering lead. So uh, Apical right here was acquired by ARM, right? In, in May. That's right. In May. May of this year, that's so, right. What did Apical do? Ah, so Apical is an imaging IP company um, that, again, was acquired this year. Uh, we have products in display and in camera and also computer vision. So now all those products are within ARM. So uh, computer vision, you can do all that yes. stuff on ARM CPU? Actually, we have a hardwired core for that. Yes, you can. You can do that on ARM CPU or in, or in the Mali GPU, but the solution that Apical brought to ARM was a fully hardwired solution in IP form for computer vision. Right, right. You'd have the IP for computer vision. You might be sitting next to like an ARM Cortex A7 processor. Is this only recently that this kind of IP is added to SOC? Uh, yes, actually. I think the first SOC with this IP is coming out uh, later this year. So it's not even yet. No, it's still it's still very new. It's still very new. Yes. It's a little bit different. Our 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 design is a fully hardwired design that can do very high frame rates and very high resolution. But it's doing the same type of application. It's it's uh, doing object detection. They also on the SOC, right? That's right. And now Intel has it. And they don't know what's going that. <laughs> and they're they're in the uh, uh, Phantom Four drones. So is this stuff that could be in a drone? Too? It could be in a drone. Yeah, this technology could be in a drone. Could be in an IP surveillance camera. Could be in a mobile device. Anywhere you need to d detect objects, especially like people. That's what we're targeting. But your technology is already in a lot of things, or not yet. The the computer vision technology is brand new, but our our camera design and our display design are already in many many devices around the world today. Hundreds of millions, exactly. Yes, uh, our our display engine has shipped. Uh, uh, more than 500 million units. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it's great. I love. I love knowing that you know that someone's holding a product and actually our IP is inside that product. So, uh, Apical, where is it based? Apical's, Apical is based in in London, um, and we have an office here in San Jose. Our main engineering center is about 90 minutes north of London. And uh, so there's a bunch of engineers and inventors of this stuff. That's right. Yes, our the inventor of the, most of the technology. All of our engineers are, are based in, in our plant in Loughborough in the UK. So how did they invent it? How did the idea come to work in this kind of field? And, uh, well, so our CTO back about 10 years ago started working in the field of uh, uh, understanding a digital model of the human eye. And that's where he came up with the local tone mapping algorithm that's used in a few of our products. And uh, it seems to be a big deal here at the Arm Tech Cup 2016. Yes. Uh, it was just like a keynote right now. Yes, from Jim Davies, that's right. Yes. And yesterday was a Masayoshi son. He said that the most important thing that ever happened with evolution was the eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Very key to our technology, that's right. And, uh, and uh, there's a lot of uh, issues with bandwidth. You can't just like, do everything in the cloud. That's right. After. You have to do it at the edge, and our, our computer vision solution is tailored just for that, to do people recognition at the edge in the camera device, rather than doing it in the main cloud of the network. 
So are you part of this solution there too? Yes, this is the computer vision solution. And so what you'll see here is you'll see boxes drawn around people. Um, if you can see some people on there, you'll see that uh, faces are, are in green, upper bodies are in blue, and full bodies are in purple. So how does that work? This is an FPGA right now? It's an FPGA right now, yes, but it's the core, it's, it's a hardware core running on the FPGA that's able to do all of these detections in real time at 1080p60. 1080p60? Yes. So From you this can, camera right here. You can detect how many people are there? Unlimited. Where are they looking? That's right. Unlimited? Unlimited number of people per frame. And recognize the ones that you know? Well, it does detection. Recognition, if you wanted to find out you know, someone's name from their face, that would run in a, in a CPU off, off, away from the IP. Uh, but the IP is detecting people in terms of face, upper body, and full body. Unlimited uh, you know, in, in 1080p60 and can do a, a general object at about 60 by 60 pixels, so quite far away from the camera. So, is there any limit in how many applications you can think of using this technology? <laughs> or you can just like never sleep and just think about stuff all the time? <laughs> it, it depends, it depends on, on what our customers want to do with it. So again, we, we've concentrated on people detection, but you could reprogram the engine for other types of objects. You could do things like road signs, for example. Road signs, you could... Uh, there's so much IoT and uh, the yes. IP cameras and... Uh, right. Uh, there's so much stuff that needs to be done now with your technology. Right, right. So, yeah. IoT is a great area, actually, because um, with this engine, you don't have to output video. So you could put a, a sensor in a corner of a room and make sure that someone is in the room uh, you know, better with better accuracy than like a PIR detector and output metadata or text only that says that there's someone there rather than having to transmit video, which has privacy concerns and all kinds of other bandwidth problems. And uh, you are c improving consumer devices, improving how they display content. Yeah, so we have a lot of devices on the market today using a product called Assertive Display, which gives you better viewability and bright sunlight, and also saves power indoors. And so you'll find that in many, many tablets and handsets today. So it adjusts the brightness of the... It, it does pixel processing to adjust. Um, it's a technique called local tone mapping, and it's doing that without changing the backlight, so you're not wasting power by, ma by making these adjustments. Uh, are we just, uh, I mean, it's got to be exciting, right? To work very much. With ARM. Like ARM. Absolutely. We're very happy We're to be a part of ARM. Right? Yeah. This ecosystem is, is, is huge. It is. And uh, the potential of the next step of what you're going to do, I guess this is also very exciting. It is, absolutely. Yes, so ARM, ARM is... Uh, uh, you know, very much behind what we're doing at, at Apical now, actually the imaging and vision group within ARM. Uh, we'll be expanding our products, expanding our roadmap, and so our customers will be very happy with what's coming in the future.